A patient today asked about Stratera or Adamoxetin in the use um, of treating ADHD in adults. Stratera or Adamoxetine is a norepinephrine reuptake inhibitor, so it decreases the reabsorption of norepinephrine from um, the neuron that it's coming out of. Um, so there's more available in the space between neurons or brain cells to either um, stay there and that's that space, the synaptic cleft, or to move forward into the next neuron. So it prevents it from going backwards, basically. Stratera is a medication that um, may not have the abuse potential or doesn't have the abuse potential that you see or that you can see with other ADHD medications like your stimulants, which consist typically of um, amphetamine medications like Adderall and Vyvanse and methylphenidate medications like Ritalin and uh, Concerta. Um, so for these reasons, Stratera might be actually a, um, a first-line medication um, as it's not controlled and it doesn't have the abuse potential of those other medications. Uh, there's a wide range of doses that work for individuals with Stratera or Adamoxetine. It's not uncommon that I'll see a patient who was trialed on this medication and the dose actually wasn't adjusted high enough to treat their symptoms. Typically, I start a patient on about 25 or 40 milligrams, and then every couple of weeks or every month, increase by about 20 milligrams. And most adults end up requiring a dose of about 80 or 100 or even 120 milligrams a day of this medication to treat their ADHD. With that being said, Stratera or Adamoxetine is extensively metabolized by the liver. And for some individuals who are poor metabolizers of uh, your CYP2D6 um, uh, uh, enzymes, um, they could actually develop pretty high levels of this medication at your lower end doses. And so that's another reason if you don't know a person's ability to metabolize certain um, certain medications, you want to start off and at least give it a chance to those lower doses, like the 25 and the 40 milligram doses. Common um, side effects of this medication are um, dry mouth, constipation, upset stomach, headache. Um, some individuals might feel tired or woozy. Some individuals might actually feel activated or increased anxious energy when they take it. Um, providers may want to consider uh, getting a blood pressure and heart rate and checking some basic vitals and doing a cardiac evaluation before starting a, a patient on this medication. Some individuals can see an increase in blood pressure, for example, uh, or tachycardia when they go on this medication. But in general, it's actually pretty well tolerated. And it's not too uncommon, too, where I may see a patient who's already getting treatment for ADHD. Let's say that they're on a stimulant like Adderall or Ritalin, and I'll say, you know what? you're on a pretty high dose of that medication, maybe we can try to decrease your stimulant. Um, since those medications have abuse potential, they can cause physiological dependence, um, and sometimes they actually make people feel pretty anxious or jittery. Um, why don't we try to add adamoxetine or Stratera to your regimen and see if you can tolerate or do well with less of your stimulant medication or even coming off your stimulant medication and just using a non-controlled medication that you take every day that provides you with um, just background improvement and focus and decrease in hyperactivity throughout the day. Um, there are other side effects that are possible with this medication. And if someone is interested in learning more about this medication, I recommend that you uh, reach out to a medical professional to discuss setting up an appointment. These videos are meant to be informative only and um, are certainly not medical advice for anyone that's out there.